this video to make people aware of how to uh, lead your chemical injection system and basically from scratch. Now I'm using, in this particular video, I'm using some winterizing um, windshield washer fluid to demonstrate this because for various reasons my van may need to sit out here in, in a little bit and um, I don't want to use the fresh water tanks but the, the process is exactly the same and the valves that I'm going to be opening and closing are exactly the same so everybody just take a look at what I'm doing I've got almost five gallons of windshield washer fluid here I got my hose coming out going to the garden hose inlet and then with the hot water convenience valve coming out and laying alongside of the jug right now because there is just fresh water in there and I want to show you what's going on here and then we can show you I will show you how to do the proper uh, bleeding of the chemical injection pump but whether you have the square style like I have or the stainless steel round one or the old style brass ones uh, with the bleeder valve attached the process is exactly the same all right so here we go engage the system now all this is doing being done on just the idle speed the standby idle as you can tell, I'm uh, no reason to ramp it up and run high speed for this, but so I've got my garden hose valve open. I haven't opened up this yet. I'm going to open up my bleeder valve. Now this chemical line has got um, leftover residual chemistry. So I'm dropping that into half a gallon of windshield washer fluid for, the, for this video. Now my, my bleeder valve is open already. You can see on my flow meter the ball is starting to bounce. My shutoff valve is in the off position at this point because we're trying to get windshield washer or detergent or rinse up into this cavity here bleeding. So it's still bleeding. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Now, when I open up the hot water convenience valve on the front of the panel, it's drawing from here. Drawing from here. You can also see more movement on this side. Now that's the windshield washer fluid being, being primed up and bled through the chemical pump. all the bubbles have evacuated then I will shut off my leader valve and open up my chemical shutoff valve to the on position now you can go ahead and adjust it however coming out the hot water convenience valve like it is right now oop don't want to waste this coming out the hot water convenience valve that's not a true result of what you're going to be running your result is connecting up your pressure line to your wand, engaging the system to whatever speed you desire to run at, and then pulling the trigger and adjusting it at that point. So, again, with this connected, just assume that this is coming from your water tank, alright? So, instead of it coming from the garden hose panel, this is coming from the fresh water tank. The fresh water tank valve down behind the panel is also green. You can see that there, cold. And so the same rule applies, except for that would be your source, your water source from the fresh water tank. Instead of doing that, I'm doing it from the garden hose feed on the panel. I know that's pretty confusing. I'm sorry about it, but just had to get this video done. Hope you're having a great day.